Okay, so basically you should never say never. And let me just go ahead and get this done before I change my mind. welcome on back to my channel so today like I said before I change my mind I'm doing eye swatches again so we have another video it is on the glam shop you know I have been just obsessed with the glam shop my palette is filling up fast like I only have room for like three shadows right there and then just a few on the other sides but we're talking about the new hollow shades that just released March 31st from the glam shop so Hannah that is the owner of the branch the four new shades released basically are rose gold hollow a cornflower hollow sweet hollow and purple hollow so they had a bundle deal on their site so I opted to go ahead and get the bundle deal which retail for 25 79 euros and then I decided to opt for the fashion piece so that was another 21 89 euros but they do have standard shipping which is 899 well 899 euros but you know I just need a little instant gratification in my life so I went ahead and did the fast shipping so I bought the four new hollows but prior to that I had just placed the order and so literally like three days later she comes out with the new hollows and I'm just like Seriously, I have to place another order. So I do have the nude hollow, which I will swatch for you today also in a um, during a demo. And not to mention, I have the glam glue because everybody was like, the glam glue is so good, so good when I did the eye swatches of the marble shades and also when I just did like a couple of looks using the singles here. And I know I've been using the next glitter glue. So I have used this once and I liked it. It was very comfortable. The shadows applied so well over it and it had great longevity so the glam glue retails for 496 euros so very affordable so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna get started I'm gonna do these eye swatches we're gonna do five eye swatches and maybe we'll create a look with one of the hollow shades at the end of the video we'll see so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna bring you in and I'm gonna say a prayer for my eyelids. all right so before we get started like I just mentioned before we're just gonna use the glam glue this is the only primer I'm gonna use I have talked about several times how these shadows perform so much better over a glitter glue versus a traditional primer because they do have a lot of sparkle in it but it just really allows the shade to adhere and then I also wanted to show the glam glue off because I've been hearing so many great things about it and I'm just gonna do one swatch on each eye today I like how I did for the marble shades where one on the primer one on the glitter glue so let's go ahead and get started first up we have nude hollow so here is a traditional swatch of the nude hollow. And then with the glam glue, because I don't have anything on my eyelid, I am just gonna apply it directly. Other and I'm gonna just use a little brush to blend it out if need be. But if the time I've used it before, I've decided to just use a brush to apply it. Just take some off of the applicator so I don't get my glue dirty. And I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Oh wow, this is really pretty. So I usually recommend the finger first and then you can go in with a brush to kind of fine tune. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up just a little bit more and you can really see the hollow effects. I'm going to go in with my Sonya G Builder Pro just so we can see what it looks like with a brush and kind of just fine tune in certain areas where my finger doesn't fit well. This is gorgeous. Nude Hollow. Next up we have Violet Hollow. Oh wow. I think I'm gonna be saying this like the whole time. Like, oh wow. This is so pretty. It 
And with this shade, I think I did pick up a little bit more, but wow. I'm just gonna go in with that Sonia G brush. You can see what it's really looking like when you just kind of start manipulating the shadow. Oh my gosh. It's literally like both of these shadows, but this one's the violet one, so you're gonna have more versus with the nude hollow. But it's like a party. It's literally a party on your lips. Wow. So this is Nude Hollow, Violet Hollow. Next up, we have Rose Gold Hollow. This one is very pretty as well. A little bit more subtle, but you can definitely see like the hot holographic flicks. <laughs> I was about to say hieroglyphic. <laughs> I was like, what? And then I'm gonna just go in with that Sonya G. Very pretty. Next up, we have Blue Hollow. Ooh. We have blue hollow versus rose gold hollow. Both are really, really pretty, but I think the blue has been one of my favorites. The blue and the violet, they are just really pretty, really good. Next up is Sweet Hollow. Ooh. This is very pretty. And for some reason to me, this one gets off more. Oh, let me cut that light. Gives off more rose gold vibes in the rose gold hollow. I really like this. This is one of my, probably one of my favorite more neutral shades. So sweet hollow. All right, so those are the eye swatches. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean up my face. So as you can see, the hollow shades, it, there is a lot of little glitter fallout that I have. So I'm gonna clean up my face and we're gonna come back. And All right, I'm back. My eyelids are primed using the Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eyeshadow Base. This is shade number two. And I have pulled out my Glen Bunny palette right here. I just recently received this palette and I have been playing with it and I am just so impressed. It has, it's a beautiful just rainbow palette. And I, let's see, I think we're gonna do something with the purple. So mostly with the um, violet halo shade. So I'm gonna dip in for a couple of these colors for the transition. And let's see what we can create. Kind of excited, but I also really like this palette because it has like your transitions, like here, it has your regular colors. I mean, it has some great colors in here. Yeah, so I'm gonna jump in, let's see, with First Kiss right here. This is just, you know, a good old Wayne Goss number 16 brush that's dirty. What else is new? Whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna start popping this in the crease. Okay, so now that I have first kiss down, I'm gonna jump into Giggle, which is, oh, of course, I almost, almost dropped the palette. So I'm jumping to Giggle, which is a, um, a nice lavender shade. And these shadows, it, they blend so well. Now I'm gonna jump in with the shade Signs, and I have a Refer 27, the Refer 27, this is from their new collection, their new eye set, and I'm just gonna kind of focus this on the outer 
and then kind of just work it into the crease. All right, so now that I got that down, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it with the glam glue and I'm gonna take it here on my, what is this, a Sigma F75 concealer type brush just so that I don't get the applicator dirty since before I didn't have anything on my eyes, but now we have shadow. And I'm just going to apply a thin layer to the lid. You just, you don't even need a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and take Violet Hollow and I'm just gonna take my finger and pick up just a little bit and start applying it to the lid. So freaking pretty. All right, now I got my Sonya G. This is the Builder Pro. And when I picked it up with the brush, I did get a tiny bit of fallout. Sonya G Flat Definer Brush. I'm gonna just go in with the shade Sweet Hollow. That was the last shade we swatched. And I'm just gonna pop this in on the inner corner. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, touch up my face, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and here is the final look, and I think it came out so pretty. It took literally no time to do, and the best thing about it, it's just so sparkly, and it catches the light, and I love these shadows. So I feel like my standout shades were the violet, which I have on here, the blue, which was gorgeous as well. Here's the blue. Then the sweet hollow, because it just gives a great kind of like pinky tone. And I felt like the color was just a tiny bit richer than maybe the rose gold hollow. But I just feel like these hollow shades are so unique to my collection they don't cost a lot you know per shadow they're a little bit more pricey because when you switch them over to euros of course or from the euro to the dollar you do get the markup and then of course if you're opting to get the expedited shipping like i did for the 25 euros it does make it a little bit pricey but overall i really think the shadows the quality is great they're very smooth i would say that when you get to remove them you do get a lot of kind of glitter everywhere I so in order to clean my face I usually use this deep cleansing oil by DHC which is a Japanese brand and I actually picked this up at Costco it works really great to get away all that makeup and it's very gentle on your face and even your eyes so I did find out that I still had quite a bit of sparkles as you could probably see what was going on with the eye swatches the glam glue was amazing um, it just it lays on so effortlessly I mean between this and the NYX glitter glue I can't tell you like oh you know 
one is better than the other but I am really enjoying this since I was placing an order from the Glam Shop anyway. Uh, once again the Glam Shop has knocked it out of the park. They do have like two new palettes and I'm like this lady is trolling me <laughs> because like every time I place an order I feel like there's another new item out and I'm just like okay I cannot place another order right now. And I was like if I place another order because the palettes are actually pretty affordable I think they're about 15 to maybe 18 euros. I'm like I need to be patient and wait on the slow shipping <laughs> but we'll see what I do um, but overall I really do enjoy these shadows um as far as I mean I, maybe I would want a green hollow but other than that I think I don't really need any more hollow shades to my collection but these eight shades that I have from the previous four that I showed before in the swatch party and then the ones I just did with these new shades they do just bring something really extra to my makeup collection and like it just took nothing to complete that especially with this blend bunnies palette i really like that you know i could just pick up a mat and just pretty much go you can use anything that's in your collection as well but overall another hit from the glass shop i'm still very impressed by this brand i have been loving this brand it's just bringing so much uniqueness to my collection and every time I just pick up my shadows I'm just so happy to use them and I've also uh, acquired a few of more of their palettes so I'll be showing that soon on my channel as well so I really hope that you like the eye swatches my eyes fared so much better <laughs> doing these eye swatches and this look is actually decent where I'm not like having tears run down my eyes actively as I'm trying to perform a look for you guys so let me know down below have you tried the glam shop yet I've been giving so much positive response from the about the glam shop on my channel so I really really appreciate it just let me know down in the comments because you guys know I love to talk to you give me a big thumbs up hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video which will be very very soon and subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here at my little makeup family and with that being said you already know what time it is it's time for the chair dance chair dance ay 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 chair dance mm, mm, chair dance mm, 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 chair dance mm. All right, y'all. <laughs> Bye.